Hey guys, really quick before the video starts, just want to remind you that I do have an Amazon affiliate link. If you do any shopping on Amazon, just click my link in the description, buy what you need to buy, and I'll get a small kickback at no additional charge to you. Now enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome back to episode 5 of Maxing My Med Level, and if you saw it last episode, you'll know that we made a good amount of money, and we still have about 15 mil left to work with. So I'm probably going to spend half of this on Rainar Seeds right now, and then we'll go hit a bird run and get this hunter level that we've been working on. Alright, there's 77 Hunter. We sold all of our birds in this last video, so time to restart from scratch. Starting strong right here. One more pay dirt. There it is, 93 mining. We were only 10k off this level, and it was bugging me, so I really wanted to get it before we start any Slayer. So 93 mining, over halfway to 99 now. Feels great. Let's get into some Slayer. If you remember from last episode, we ended having a Zami task, so we're gonna come over here to Nightmare Zone, and hopefully we have enough to imbue this Black Mask because... Oh, we have way more than enough. That's beautiful. Great. Um gonna help me because I'm planning on using Blood Barrage to stay there longer and I get a 10% magic boost with this or, or maybe 15% or something. Alright, here we go. First trip is in. We got the Blood Barrage in the Rune Pouch. We have the Crystal Halberd because we couldn't really afford any other spec weapon. And I think this is pretty good here. He's weak to Slash, so... Kind of nervous, but we'll see how it goes. I really, really need a drop right now. He specced me six times in a row. Dude, there's just no way. There's just no way a rune sword on 43k C. I died to the minions, bro. <laughs> Tell me why this is 29k. This is almost Alk price. That's such a slap to the face. All right. There we go. That's the greater demon task done. Entirely a Zami. Unfortunately, no luck. Just the steam battle staff, but... It's okay. It's okay. Let me finish off these minions so you can get lucky with the 1 in 5k spear and then I'll tell you how we can assess the damages. Because there are damages. <laughs> Just picked up the battle stops. Let's go to Terradel and get a new task because this is all the loot we got from that Zami task and I'm pretty sure we lost money. Let me total it up really quick. And these blood runes. So we didn't even make a mil. I think we lost almost 2 mil on that task. So it was brutal, but that's okay. We'll get lucky next time. What's Terradel going to give us? Black Demon. So we could go to Demonic Gorillas. But I don't know if I hate myself enough for that right now. The Zenite Shards are almost 10 mil. We're going in. <laughs> there it is! Oh my god, that is so nice. You have no idea how nice that is. We are not even that far into the trip. Second trip went a lot better. We got almost 850k in loot, and it was almost a 40 kill trip. So it's starting to come back to me. I'm getting a lot better. It's my first time PVMing in, I think, like half a year on this game. So my, my clicks and stuff are a little bit off. All I've been doing is skilling so far. I think we're finally done. This is day three of non-stop amethyst mining. Just while playing video games or whatever, we are finally at 120 unidentified minerals. And we have a very healthy sum of amethyst too. Haven't yet sold that Zenite shard, but we don't really need the money right now. 7.2 mil worth of amethyst. <laughs> and we're about halfway to 94 mining, so pretty good gains. It was laid back. I didn't really do anything else. I was just playing games and doing this on iPad or watching you like, watching videos in the morning and just doing this while I ate. But it's time to finally upgrade the amethyst experience. We're going to upgrade these superior mining gloves to expert mining gloves. And I just really hope I don't mess this up. It's pretty simple. You just buy the lower tier mining gloves and then you talk to her and for 60 more minerals she should fuse them together to make expert mining gloves. Can you combine my mining gloves? Okay. It's pretty straightforward. Combine the gloves, please. Expert mining gloves took forever, but now 25% chance to not deplete the amethyst when I mine it. It's a lot better than it sounds because it's already really AFK here without the gloves, but with the gloves, if they proc, it could be up to like two or three minutes of straight AFK on one amethyst. And I clicked away because I didn't think I'd get the level there, but my Varrock Armor 4 triggered and we ended up getting a double amethyst mine there. So we got 94 mining. Currently up to 3k amethyst now, and I still don't see an end in sight. It's just, it's so nice here. I've had uh, so many experiences where these gloves trigger like three times, and I'm just AFKing. I moved the screen so I don't log out, but I'm AFKing for like eight or nine minutes on one amethyst. It's, it means worse XP than Motherload, but there's better pet rate. It's really good money. I just don't see a reason to leave right now. But Okay, that is enough amethyst mining. I'm putting my foot down. We are officially done here. 5,041 Amethyst. It's just, you know, when you get here and you get in the rhythm, you don't want to leave. It's so AFK at night. So almost 20 mil in pure Amethyst, and we've got 131 unidentified minerals. If they ever have a use in the future, we have them. As for now, they're just GP. Maybe they're like a couple of thousand GP each, but I'm not going to trade them in for GP. Anyway, we're on our last day of this bond, so we need to get to the Grand Exchange. 
sell these off, pick up a new bond, and then maybe get back to Slayer or do some other short sort of skilling. Let's just see what they're going for. I'll put them for like six GP under or something. Cool. They sold for a little bit over market, so let's use this money to pick up a bond. Ooh. Ooh, that's deep. They're five mil each? Jeez, dude. Okay, well, I guess that makes the From Scratch years a little bit more spicy. There's there's some more membership on the account. Still 14 mil to work with. Forgot in the bank, I've also been collecting battle staffs from Zaps. Just four days worth. So we also have this. So just the cash stack is just growing, dude. Whoa, we can actually afford a Ceridome and God Sword. I had no idea they crashed that much. They were 40 mil last time I checked, but I was just looking like that's the next goal. That's the item I wanted next. But if we sell our Zenai shard right now, we can actually afford a Ceridome and God Sword. That's really cool. We'll try just market value because it's going for over that. 7.6, and then <laughs> let's get the Ceridome and God Sword. That'd be really nice for Demonic Gorillas and just Slayer in general. We'll throw it in for 28 mil, and we have it. <laughs> this From Scratch series is going so well. Oh my goodness. Let's head back to Demonic Gorillas for now. I think we still have about 150 left on this task, and we're just going to try using a God Sword and a Blowpipe so I don't have to use a Defender Switch. Um, might not be as many kills per hour, but definitely a lot more relaxing. What the hell is a Malicious Ash? Oh, we got it. Okay, 95 mining. That's pretty cool. I had to do a bit more AFKing, so I came back here and once again just instantly got addicted. Already up to 1300 amethyst. Yet again, probably gonna surpass our last stack, but had a lot of other things I need to do, and that's 5 mil worth right there, so it, it's nice to be here. Between my Varrock armor and my gloves a few inventories ago, I got like 8 amethyst from one rock. It was just some lucky procs, but you have no idea how AFK it can get. Just woke up, we did our dailies, did a birdhouse run, got battle staffs, and this is the first guy I come in contact with. Today's gonna be a good day. I think I'm gonna go to Motherload for a bit now instead of Amethyst. We're pretty close to 96 mining, so I'd like to get that done today. And where is it? Amethyst is almost at 4k, so let's do a quick check on that real quick. 14 mil, so you know, bonds. We are 3 XP off the level, so I got the recorder on. Let's get 96 mining here in a second. If this guy doesn't jack all the ore, there we go, 96 mining, so three more levels to go. It does feel a lot better to get 35k XP an hour after getting 18k an hour at Amethyst for like two weeks. So, Ooh, we got a double proc for the level, that was sick. 97 mining, so much time is going into these freaking clips, dude. It's like a week of mining between levels here at the Amethyst rocks, but we have been going back and forth between Motherlode. Almost at 5k Amethyst now, it's just, you know, going up every clip. And let's check our mother load loot really quick. Almost 400 runite ore, so making a ton of money, I guess. Dude, some of these amethyst alt accounts go hard here. This level 29 has 65 mil mining XP here with the pet. What the hell? I don't know why he wouldn't get the Varrock Armor 4 before coming here on that account. Because if you're going to do 65 mil XP here, I feel like that'd be worth your time. <laughs> Super late at night, but I wanted to stay up to get this. It's absolutely way too late. I should have gone to bed, but that's a very exciting level for me. 98 mining. Which means just one more to go for that skill cape, which I've never had before. It's like becoming more and more of reality every single day. So 1.2 mil to go for that. Definitely going to get it. Let's go to the bank, though, because this is also another exciting part of getting a mining level is I get the price check with you guys. So I've been going back and forth between Amethyst up to over 400 minerals so far. And uh, where's my mother load loot? Almost 600 runite ore, Jesus Christ. How many nuggets we got? <laughs> Almost 1.5k gold nuggets. Oh man, so much bank. Whoa! 40 mil, huh? <laughs> okay. We got a pretty good cash stack too from buying our battle staffs. We started with like 900k cash and just from battle staffs so far we're over 2 mil. So everything is going good. We're on the last stretch now for this mining cape. And um... Just excited to be done with it. While I'm finishing up mining on my main account, I've hopped on my rune pier just to do some free-to-play castle wars, and it is the cutest thing ever. I've done literally months of castle wars and members, and I'm just so used to code eyes and Zami spears and, and Elijahs and you know all that crap. And then you come here and you get this. Monk robes, air staffs. It's just so refreshing. Another late night of mining, and I almost missed 99 mining. I can't believe it, but as soon as they reach this sack, we should be getting 99 mining for the first time in my life. 
pretty nice. Feels pretty good. It's a really nice cape. I like the blue trim on it. Let me bank all this ore and we'll go get the cape and do a price check because I haven't checked the ore since the last clip. We were like 40 mil last clip, I think. Okay, there they are. It took me a while to find the underground entrance to the mining cape guy. I didn't want to go through the top, but here he is. Gadrin. Let's go ahead and do the dialogue. And we have a mining cape trimmed on the account. Sweet. Looks great with the regular prospector, but I think once you turn it into the shooting star one, it's not going to look so good anymore. But the smithing cape looks good with that one. Don't think I'll be wearing it, but let's do an emote really quick. Just because I got it. <laughs> I've never been so patient with a skill cape in my life either. I don't think I had a single day where I got more than like 400k XP. Like most days were in the 200 to 300k XP range. I, I took this cape so slow, but it paid us a decent amount of money. Let's get a price check going. 53 mil. So we made 13 mil on that last level, which is really good. I'm actually on my last day of membership, so I have to go to the GE and buy a bond. But first, let me go to Verox Square so I can pick up my daily battle staffs. I'm pretty sure my GE history is just battle staffs and a bond. That's all I've been doing for like the longest time. But we got 120 more battle staffs. I'm going to get everything sold. We'll speed up this clip and then I'll get another bond. 55 mil. So I think the Amethyst sold for a little bit over market. Actually, that's a fair deal over market. That's one mil extra GP just from the Amethyst. But let's get a bond real quick. Good. Let's use this up really quick. And then we have to decide gear upgrades and what skill we're going to do next because I'm uh, pretty bored of AFKing. <laughs> also, all that free to play Castle Wars I did while getting my mining cape really paid off. Check out what screen am I on? This is my room crew down here, check it out. I got the decorative helm and legs. So now I have uh, almost the full set on two accounts, which is a lot of Castle Wars, but this is my room here. I really wish they would bring back Bounty Hunter. I miss this account, man. I was zoning out and slaying, and I was like, how far am I from 87 Slayer? And I'm 5% into 87 Slayer, so we got it a while ago. I don't know where. Must have been on this Dagonoth patch, let's see. Yep. There it is. That is two Slayer levels in a row at Bloodvelds. It was right at the end of the task too. With the Bracelet to Slaughter, we almost killed 300 Bloodvelds that task. These are just so nice for Slayer. It just makes it AFK. I'm wearing the Prayer Cape because it acts as a Holy Wrench. I think you could have it in your inventory too, but the trimmed cape gives me plus four prayer bonus, so I just wear it anyway. Let's just see what our next task is. Drakes. Canceling that. <sighs> <laughs> All right, just keep going. I'm not doing that necro task. I just feel like canning right now, even though this is a from scratch series, so that's kind of weird. But whatever, dagger mouth will do it. We're about to run out of cannonballs, so we're gonna sell off all the slayer that we've accumulated just from doing AFK tasks. Let's total it up really quick. Okay, about two mil. So that's about the limit for GE cannonballs. I think we can get 11k. It's about two mil. These blood runes, though, 427 each, man. They need to do something about that. Like, I don't even own a scythe and I'm stressed out. That's nice to see. Cannonballs are crashing back down. After the combat achievements came out, these went up to like 230 or 240 each. So, back down to 194. So, this badge of cannonball has only cost me 200k out of pocket. Trying to be very conservative with this cash. Missed another Slayer level there, 89, so one more for 90. I don't know when we get Cerberus, but I'm pretty excited for that. That's going to be good money for this account. And I think I can ex afford a Spectral Spirit Shield too. So finally, we got a whip on this task. How many have we killed? Uh, Abyssal Demon. 733, so barely dry, but it sucks to go dry at all because we do need the money. Damn it, I missed it, but finally we're 90 Slayer. It looks great. Another level 90 on the account. Hunter is really making this account look ugly being only level 77, but whatever, it is what it is. I looked it up and Cerberus is at level 91, I think, so just one more level to go for Cerberus. We'll get into that next episode, though, because I am taking a break from Slayer, and this episode is probably about to come to an end, too, because I have a problem with putting too much content in one episode. <laughs> it's been like two months since my last upload. I'm pretty sure I lost a ton of money slaying with those cannonballs, but let's see just for the fun of it if we can still afford a Spectral Spirit Shield. Oh, they're only 56. I thought they were closer to 70. I think we should have that. Let's do a bank price check. 82 mil? Okay. 99 mining was a great choice. So we can afford a Spectral and a Zami Hosta. So 
keep slaying. Hopefully we get a Cerberus task and we end with the Primordial in the next episode. That would be great. But anyway, I'm going to call it here for this episode. Thanks for watching. Sorry it's been so long since my last upload, but... You know, I like to get things done in these episodes. I'm not just trying to throw them out there. I'm trying to max the account. So subscribe if you like that. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time.